For 35 years, Newton Community Pride has been dedicated to showcasing the spirit of Newton, Massachusetts. This nonprofit organization has played a pivotal role in transforming public spaces and bringing Newton residents and visitors together through free public art. With the generous support of local donors, Newton Community Pride has had the goal of giving back to the city's landmarks, businesses, schools, and residents, using art as a powerful tool to inspire the community. Past summer initiatives have included the decoration of outdoor dining areas, pianos, public benches, and art exhibits. In June of 2024, Newton Community Pride announced its latest summer public art initiative, hashtag PictureUsNewton. This exciting project features 12 beautifully decorated selfie stations located throughout the city, each showcasing the talent of local artists. Hashtag PictureUsNewton invites people to capture their moments in front of colorful murals and upload their selfies to a community photo album located on the Newton Community Pride website. Hashtag PictureUsNewton provides a collaborative space for community members to connect through their shared memories. Already, over 100 selfies have been shared. To learn more about hashtag PictureUsNewton, I joined Blair Lesser Sullivan, Executive Director of Newton Community Pride. What has been your favorite part about working with Newton Community Pride? Um, I just love all the arts and culture that we've brought to the city of Newton. It's been amazing bringing free festivals, public art, beautification with our gardens, as well as our scholarships. And we also introduced Winterfest this uh, three years ago as well. So new ideas yeah. coming to the city. Yeah, it's been yeah, great. Definitely, it's awesome. I mean, you guys have found a lot of ways to have a positive impact on yeah. the Newton community, mm -hmm. especially with the summer public art initiatives. Mm -hmm. Um, this summer's initiative, hashtag Picture Us Newton. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit more about what that entails. So a few years ago, we decided to introduce more public art to the city of Newton. We saw the public spaces in the city needing more art and giant canvases all over town. And so we decided we would bring more color and creativity. And this year's program is selfie stations. So we've insta installed 12 st selfie stations around the city and we invite people to take photos in front of them and then submit them to our online community photo album. Yeah. And they're artfully decorated by eight local and regional artists. I had the pleasure of talking to one of the eight artists, Leah Kalidas, who has murals located at Newton Free Library and Waban Library. Well, I heard about the call for art. I thought it was a really awesome project and a great idea. And so I submitted my design and was selected from that. So this is a repeating pattern design so that I actually have this on fabric as well. And um, so I print things on uh, spoon flour, so wallpaper, fabrics and stuff like that. But mostly I paint, so I'll do shows and galleries and sell my art online. Well, in the past few years, I've gotten more involved in public art and it's been so fun to see people interact with my art. It's been a real thrill. And so I was really excited about this idea. It's a fun way to get people to interact with art in the community. I think generally people in this area love to see art in the community and especially in the summertime when everyone's out and about so i wanted something that was bright and colorful and would hopefully make someone smile a sentiment shared by blair and the newton community pride team what, what inspired the idea well we wanted to showcase the diverse and engaging community and really build the community and have everyone Feel, feel joy and feel connected in some way. Yeah. There are some dark times going on right now, globally, locally, individually, and we just want people to feel connected and inspired. In Leah's case, Newton Public Art was an inspiration for her work and her family. So I have two kids and uh, they're nine and 13 right now. And 
even before I got involved in these projects with Newton Community Pride, my kids and I would get involved with the projects that we'd see, like the painted pianos. My son plays piano. And that was so fun. And I think it brings art to people who don't necessarily like go to an art gallery, for example. They get to see it out in the world and it just makes everything more beautiful. To find more information about Leah and her artwork, visit www.leahkolitis.com. Throughout your time at Newton Community Pride, how have you seen these public art initiatives evolve? And, and does this one inspire any future projects for next oh, year? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, we try to do one every year a little different. We've done doors, benches, banners. So we're always thinking of new and creative ideas to inspire the city, engage the city, fill it with joy and color. So we'll definitely be doing something in the future. Yeah. And we have a committee that meets and decides and we always brainstorm new and fun ideas. Yeah. It's exceeded our expectations but it's it's going on throughout the summer so definitely we we want everyone else to to keep keep it up and submit more and more photos all yeah. right well for those who haven't gotten the chance to visit a selfie station just yet how much longer will they be around this summer we are hoping they'll be up through october awesome yeah all right so plenty of time <laughs> yeah. to visit a station if you have it weather already. permitting yeah <laughs> weather permitting <laughs> um of course they brighten the area no matter what kind of weather you're yes. in so if you haven't gotten the chance yet, stop by a selfie station, uh, enjoy the artwork, snap a selfie, and don't forget to upload it to the community photo album on the Newton Community Pride website, correct? Yes, newtoncommunitypride.org. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me, Blair. It was great talking thank to you. you.